Hey everybody, what's going on? How are you all doing today? Um, I tried to make this video earlier and it just didn't really work out. I was, I started bawling and I just didn't want to really upload that to YouTube. But for those of you who have not seen my community feed, um, my, com my post this morning, um, Little Clover passed away last night and um I was when I was making my video last night you know Loki was up here goofing around and then I got done making my video and I heard this noise and Clover was trying to walk in my room and she but she kept falling down like her back legs stopped working and so she would like take a few steps and then fall over and then take a few steps and fall over and she was making this crying sound that I've never heard her make before and so I got her pet carrier not the one that I hauled last night but her her real pet carrier, I mean, her usual pet carrier, and I put her in it, and we drove to the next town where there's a 24-hour animal hospital. And so we drove there, and she was silent the whole way there, and that's when I knew something was really wrong because usually when she's in her pet carrier, she's putting up a big fight to get out of it and yowling and, and acting, you know, like it's the end of the world and it's always a big ordeal taking her to the vet because of the drive there and the way she gets hysterical. But last night she was just dead silent as I was racing to this neighboring city town to get to this hospital and it was just like the longest drive of my life. And so then we got to the hospital and the vet looked at her and said that, yeah, that she, her, her kidneys were done, that she was um, critical and she only weighed six pounds. And, um, there was nothing they could do for her. I mean, the vet said, well, we could keep her in the hospital for a few days and run a bunch of tests and take some, you know, but he said, I can tell that, he said, this cat is dying right now. And so, yeah, I, I said, yeah, we should put her he asked, he said, do you think it's time to say goodbye? And I said, I said, yeah. Oh, I can't tell this story without crying. I'm so sorry. This is the last time I'm making this video too. Anyway, so <clears throat> that was that. I mean, they sent me to this visitation room that they have, which is this, they've got this cozy little room that's like a living room and they, where they bring your pet into you and you can hold her while they, and she had a little port that they put in her paw and, you know, they gave her a sedative and then they gave her the medication and she just put her head down and went to sleep and um I don't know I cried so hard at the vets that I thought I was gonna either throw up or pass out like I haven't cried that hard since um well since my dad died or it was just bad. It was really bad. That little cat was my soulmate. She was just my little friend. And, um, oh, crap. I can't believe I'm crying. I just can't tell this story without crying. 
but anyway, that's what happened. And I got home finally from the hospital. It took a long time and then they had to go through, oh my God. And then they had to go through, you know, billing and I didn't care. You know, I was just like, I don't, they're like, now this is going to cost $600, you know, and they, um, had, they like did the billing part before they even put her down and while I was in the visitation room the office manager came in with all the paperwork and was like now I need to tell you how much this is going to cost and I was just thinking well what would they do if I didn't have the money like would they just not have put her down or well, I mean I had the money but that was so weird for them to first take my money before they euthanized the cat. And that was weird. And then she had this catalog of little, um, I told them I wanted a private cremation and she, then she brings out this catalog of urns and stuff. And the cat wasn't even gone yet. And it was just very surreal and bizarre and, then she left and that's when they came in with Clover and, you know, did the thing. But I got home at like, I don't know what time I got home, what, whatever time it was when I up, I hit upload on it because I had made the video and then I realized that Clover was doing really bad. So then I got home from the vet and I just uploaded the video because I was just in shock. I was in shock and I was really sick from crying and here I came home and this thing was open and the video was on it and I just uploaded it last night and went to bed and it was so surreal watching it um, this morning because I, I didn't even watch the replay or anything. Usually I watch the replay of videos before I upload them but, but last night it was like right when I got done filming that haul I noticed Clover falling down and trying to walk and falling down and crying and dragging her back legs trying to walk and um and then it was just like zoom you know taking trying to get her to the hospital as fast as I could and then I came home and all of this was open and I uploaded the video and then just watching it this morning it was so weird listening to me talk about her vet appointment on Wednesday or, you know, I knew something was wrong because she was really sp like spacey and out of it. When I got home from work, she was on her little pillow when I got home from work and she was just really, really spacing out and her eyes were really, really dilated. And I Googled that. I'm like, what does that mean if a cat's eyes are really dilated? And Loki's in my lap and um it said sometimes it means the animal is in pain um or sometimes it means they see prey or whatever but I was just real worried when I was making that unboxing video and I think some of you saw it because I started to get kind of emotional and I thought and that was when last night I was thinking, well, maybe I'll take her to the weekend vet um, Saturday morning and have them check her blood and see if she needs fluids because she seemed really dehydrated or whatever. But we didn't make it in time. I mean, we didn't, it, they wouldn't have been able to do anything for her. It would have just been the same thing. So I don't know. But man, I've got the worst headache today, like the, like a, like the worst hangover you've ever had like that's the kind of headache I have like just so bad like throwing up bad headache from just like a migraine level it's not a migraine but it's like a migraine level headache I think it's probably from crying so hard for so long but that was that I mean this is kind of a dismal video but I just wanted and I'm sorry that I cried I just wanted to um update because I know people here on this channel like to see her and because I, I actually I wasn't gonna talk about it I thought this is my private pain and I'm not gonna share this with 
thousands of people and but I know people like to see her and people always in comments want to know how she's doing or, you know, where she is or whatever. Well, uh, she's gone now. And um, she just, ever since Felix died, she just started getting kind of like going downhill. We knew she was in renal failure, but she had been doing well on this renal diet and this medication that I would put in her ears and she um it was only after Felix died that she just started getting kind of well she was just real sad without him you guys some of you guys remember that that she would just walk around the house looking for him and crying and I think she just kind of gave up after that and then bringing the new cat in the house was kind of stressed her out and I shouldn't have done. If I would have known she was that sick, I wouldn't have brought a little kitten in the house. I thought that actually bringing another kitten in the house would, because she was lonely and always looking for Felix and I thought maybe bringing in another cat once they got to know each other then she would like have somebody again and, and a little cat again and I was just wrong but um Loki slept with me last night which was weird he doesn't usually sleep like right smashed up against me or anything but he slept on my shoulder last night I think he knew well I, that I was sad or whatever but he was a good little boy he wasn't bad last night not bad he wasn't rambunctious he just went to bed when I did and I got up today and I just haven't been able to really do anything all day I went in I tried to make another video I made a video earlier and actually put together a dresser while I was making it but it was just it was a weird video because I was crying while I was doing it I was trying to talk and then I just kept crying so I'm like sobbing and putting this dresser together and I was thinking about the company that sent me that dresser for review <laughs> and just, <laughs> just thinking here's your review and it's this YouTuber just sobbing and bawling while they put together while you know they put together the dresser I couldn't do that to that company that's a horrible thing to do just thinking about that makes me laugh but so I'm not gonna upload that video and now I don't know if I'm gonna upload this one every time I try to tell this story I just start sobbing and crying whatever but Anyway, that's what happened to Clover, and it is not going to be the same without her. The house is weird without her. Life is just weird. It feels like part of me is really missing. It feels like, like a big chunk of me is really missing, like... I don't know it's just really you know, well a lot of you know how it feels she was with me for 15 years and 15 years is such a long time to have this little companion and then suddenly she's just gone and same with Felix I mean I got them both at the same time and I can't believe I lost both of my cats in the space of a few months like just out of the blue it seemed like it's just life kind of sucks sometimes you guys but anyway that's that I'm done I'm sorry that I'm here weeping crying and all of this stuff but I just wanted to let people know that um she's no longer with us and she won't be in any more videos. So I just didn't want people to be asking all the time about where she was. Because I I was I wasn't gonna say anything because this channel is just supposed to be hauls and stuff and just cheery stuff, so 
I wasn't going to say anything about it, but I knew people would always be asking where she was, and I just figured you would want to, some of you might want to know. Anyway, that's me crying again on YouTube. Crying on YouTube. Yay. It's like a rite of passage for a channel creator to just start sobbing on YouTube. I think you gotta, I think you have to cry at least once on YouTube to really check off that bingo card, crying on camera, check it off. The next thing is like throwing a big tantrum and going, I'm leaving, I'm done, I'm not coming back. And then coming back like a few hours later, that's another bingo card spot for YouTube creators. But anyway, thank you if you watched. I'm sorry this was such a downer video. Thank you for watching. Um, I love and appreciate you guys so much and thank you for your um, kind comments and also in my community feed. Thank you and I'm gonna just get off camera. This is weepy video and I'm not going to sit here and cry on camera anymore. I have to work tomorrow so I really have to pull it together or I'm not even going to be able to open my eyes tomorrow. They're so swollen from crying. But Loki and I are going to, I don't know, I can't, it's not, I don't feel like watching a movie. I don't feel like reading. I don't feel like doing anything. I just feel like sitting here and just sitting here and I don't know, diamond painting, I'll have to try to find my light board, my new one, I don't, I don't know, I'm just babbling now, all right, I gotta go, you guys, thank you so much, and I love and appreciate all of you, and take care, I hope that you're having a nice night, morning, or afternoon, whatever it is, and I will probably see you tomorrow. I have to work, but then I gotta do some product reviews. The the ironic thing is I had told this company that I would review their pet groomer tool today. Like they really wanted the review up to on this date and I just couldn't do it. Every time I took out the pet groomer tool, I just started crying again and I just thought, well, I can't do this company's pet groomer tool video because I'll be crying through the whole thing just like with the dresser that I just tried to put together and wept the whole time so the whole it's just pointless but thank you for caring to all of you who care and I will pull it together and I'll be on tomorrow just if anything just to do a quick review and I've got to I've got to get these reviews these product reviews done Okay, my table is falling over. I will talk to you later, you guys. How do we stop this thing?